Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my second green screen studio, which is actually in my classroom now. Uh, it's not so much of a studio, it's just a green sheet, but we're going to try it out and see how it goes. All right, so we're back into this kitchen project and um, what we're going to do next, I actually want to make this kitchen a little bit bigger. That was the first thought I had when I finished my video the other day. So what I want to do is, if you're still in this view here, right click on the cube, go back to parallel, go to the top, and we're going to use a tool, go back to the 2D wireframe, we're going to use a tool called uh, Slice, okay? Whoops, that's with an S. So click the walls, and then what I want to do is we left this four inches here. I want to slice this project starting at this point, and it's like a pair of scissors. So the first click that you make, it's going to start cutting and going across that green line all the way through the 3D model. And then it's going to say, do you want to keep both sides, or do you want to just click on one of the sides to keep? We want to keep both sides. So now we can take this wall here, and I'm going to take the camera as well, and I'm going to move that down. Initially, we had a 10-foot kitchen. We're going to make this 16 going this way. So we're going to go an extra 6 feet. All right. Now, don't forget that if you're typing feet and it's not registering the 6 apostrophe, make sure that this unit says architectural for length. Okay. And then what we have to do now is we got to fill in those walls. Okay. The flooring is easy. What you're going to do with the flooring is you're just going to make a copy of it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to go, even if it goes outside the wall, you'll go like that. You'll do a union. Union these two together and hit enter. So now you've got one big piece of flooring. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Although we don't even need to copy it. We just need to move it. Stay on the green line and make sure that we can see it through that doorway. Something like that. Okay. So we got to fill in these walls now. So on your 3D tools, 3D basics, i got to change my bar down here. Drag this up a little bit. You can see your past stuff. Uh, the box tool, we're going to click on this corner. And we're going to go to that corner. And then we're going to go up to the top. All right. So again, you can do union. Click this, this, and this. And that makes them all one. Same thing on the far side. Box tool. Click, click, and how far down we want to go probably best to grab that corner and again we're going to union this and this enter so now if we go on our camera here we can see that we have much more space to work with and a lot more space to do with our cabinets okay so I wanted to start that off with a three foot cabinet there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to this corner and then I'm going to take that cabinet and move it back four inches. And that's our first cabinet. Okay, now looking at what I want to do in this corner here, I probably want to make the corner cabinet next. So using the box tool, what you're going to do is, this is going to get confusing in here with all these lines. So if you need to, take the floor and move the floor out just a predefined number like let's just go like 20 feet and then we know we just have to move it back 20 feet okay so that just kind of gets it out of our way so we can see what we're doing um, this is the inside corner that's the outside corner but they are on the same plane alright so what I want to do is I want to start with the box tool here and I want to click on this corner right here I want to do length this is going to be if you have a two foot cabinet but then it's going to be a corner cabinet that's going to go an additional foot so it's going to be about three feet 36 it's going to be the same way this way, 36, and then as far as height goes, we said 34, okay? we got to cut this corner out here, so we're going to go with another box, starting here, that goes length, and staying on that green line, 12 inches, 12 inches, and then straight up, and then subtract from the cabinet that corner piece, so now we've got something like this, okay? Um, now as far as doors go we already made a door the other day let's make a copy of this and these are 12 inch spaces here so we're gonna want like a if we're leaving two inches on each side we're gonna want um, like an eight inch door so we're gonna bring this back out here 
and this is currently let's go to the top view I don't remember exactly from yesterday what size these were so this door is currently 15 and we want it to be 8 which means we have to take 7 inches off okay so we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna go you know what we're gonna draw a line first I don't want to disrupt um, the uh, the sweep that I did so just draw a line somewhere here and then go offset 7 okay so we're not gonna be able to pull 7 out of that middle part so let's see yeah we're not gonna be able to do that without disrupting too much so alright let's do this we'll pull 5 inches out of the middle and you're gonna do slice click the door enter click from here to here and then keep both sides so now this is separate from that again you're gonna do another slice and you're gonna click from you're gonna click this second model enter and then click from here to here and then keep both sides now we can just erase the center I can get rid of these lines we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna pull this together So now we've got a smaller inside of our door. Now we're going to pull some out of here. We're going to pull an inch out of this side and an inch out of this side. So go ahead and union those back together. Sorry, I was looking at my frame rate dropping. Um, go back to the top. Hopefully this actually comes out clean. I'm on an Alienware computer. I, can't, I, I find it hard to believe that this is not going to work very well. Uh, back to 2D wireframe okay so again we're gonna just I don't want to disrupt this chamfer and I don't want to disrupt this sweep so just go somewhere in here and then offset one inch and it's gonna be a lot of doing this because your cabinets are different sizes rather than making all of these doors over and over again you can just slice these models and pull those pieces together which is really the only difference in all of your cabinet doors in your kitchen slice again click this model from here to here enter get rid of the middle piece I'm gonna take these lines and use these again somewhere in there slice model enter line line slice model enter line line keep both sides get rid of this one get rid of the lines Okay, and now we're going to pull these together. So we actually could just move this an inch because we know we took an inch out. Stay on the green line. And then union, pull these back together. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Alright, so now we have a much thinner door. Conceptual, good. Alright, take this door, move it from this corner. And you're going to go back into the kitchen and you're going to put that right on this corner now we wanted to leave two inches on both sides so we're going to use the move tool coming this way two inches and we're going to use this i think we left an inch at the top come down one inch so we get something like that okay um now i want to take this door and i want a second copy of it that copy is going to have to be from the top view rotated so you have to do this from the top view select this door rotate make sure that the chamfers are facing this way and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to take this we're going to move it from this back corner to here this is going to move over two inches and it's going to move down one inch stay on the green line all right so that cabinet's done now I'm gonna take this one that we already made again don't union these unless you know that you're gonna have the same material on them um, they probably will have the same material but I'm leaving them alone for now so you can move that one in there's your next cabinet okay now with the space that's remaining I'd like to know my plan here what we're gonna do next so go back to 2d wireframe in the top view we can see if I use dim linear that from the corner of the door to here 
I have these are small numbers I have 60 inches okay so I could do um, I could do a 24 and then a 30 and that's gonna give me 54 and it's gonna leave six inches I think I like that all right so these are the next two cabinets that I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna end this video because I'm actually shooting from work and I only have about 10 minutes left on this period so this would be part number two so let's copy this cabinet out and again, like I have no real plan for what I'm doing here, but that's the point of doing CAD work is that you have to be able to do things on the fly and you have to be able to fix things on the fly when they, when you don't like what it looks like. So you might do things, look at it and say, eh, I don't really like that. It's, it's not so much just following directions, me telling you do this, do that, do that. You need to be able to learn for yourself and then figure out, you know, oh, I need to make some changes. How do I do that? Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, let's see let's go back to the top well you know what let's draw the box first let's do two at one time here we're gonna draw the box we're gonna do length one of them is gonna be a 30 inch cabinet that comes out 24 and goes up 34 okay the next one is gonna be a box length that goes 24 24 and then up 34 okay so we got these two boxes here now with the door all right what we did was from 36 to 30 we took off six inches which means that we have to kill uh three inches in the middle of this one and three inches in the middle of that one so take one of these doors copy that out go to the top view again that door is right here put a line down the middle it doesn't have to be anywhere specific just don't disrupt the sweep and don't disrupt the chamfer offset you're gonna go three inches so if we take three out of each door then that'll be perfect slice click the model enter line line keep both sides enter and then slice again click the model enter line line keep both sides get rid of the middle technically we don't have to keep both sides on doing that last part but I like to do that anyways it's just an easy enter get rid of these move this three inches going up you're going to union enter and now we have our door size that we need okay so this door same idea move that onto which one did we do first we did this one first move that onto there uh, you're going to move that two inches to the right and you're going to move that one inch down like so all right now let's go to the top view rather than messing with that again let's grab our door from here do mi for mirror go across the midpoint midpoint to midpoint erase the source no and now that cabinet's done okay so i'm going to move this cabinet from this back corner and i'm going to stick that one right there okay one more cabinet to go so now from this door to this, we have 36 going down to 24. That's a 12 inch difference. So we got to pull a lot out of this, or you can just put one big door on there. Um, maybe I'll put one big door on there. That sounds a little bit better. So what we're going to do then is we're going to need a door that's going to be 20, 20 by the same height. Okay. So let's take this door put it over here go back to your top view I know I said I was gonna do handles in this video but I gotta wait until the next video um, take a line so this is actually the opposite of what we've been doing here you know what before we do this let's make sure we know what size door this is again this one is 15 and we want it to be 20 so we got to add five inches so if I go like this whoops take a line and draw through here and I do my offset at five and I do my slices the same way that I've been doing them. Model, enter, line, line, keep both sides. Slice, model, enter, line, line, keep both sides. What I can do is I can move this one five. And then I can copy this one five. Because that middle piece is exactly the same twice. And then union those together but you know what before I union let me show you what it looks like it's got four pieces to it okay two outsides which are uninterrupted and then two inside pieces 
so we got a union we're gonna select all of them and hit enter and boom we get our door size and now we're gonna take this move this from this back corner little orbit go on there move this over to the right two inches move it down one inch so maybe that's for like pots and pans and stuff you have a bigger door on there grab this stick it right there we're left with six inches at the end that's perfect because we have four inches of trim three to four inches of trim and then we have a little bit of wall okay um, I'm gonna leave this video at that point it's 15 minutes I didn't like how long the last one was anyways so this was part two of kitchen design and we were just making some cabinets and we were modifying the size of the door let's see what this looks like on the camera real quick so you see we're starting to build this room here we're gonna build um, probably gonna do a dishwasher next here and then a 36 inch cabinet for a sink and then you know we'll go from there leave a little space for a fridge um, maybe the stove goes on top of one of these, like this 24 inch or uh, 30 inch box that we have here. We'll have to figure that out later. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Try to go on to part number three. Maybe I'll shoot that later on today or tomorrow. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Gotta catch